Hi, this is Dr. Minkoff, LifeWorks Wellness Center. I want to talk to you today about thyroid issues because a lot of people that we see come here because they feel like their thyroid's not right. They go to their own personal physician and he says their numbers look good and yet they're cold, they're overweight, they have dry skin, they have thinning eyebrows, they're constipated, they can't think as fast as usual, and they have all these signs that are signs that could be hypothyroid, low thyroid, but their blood tests look okay. Now the way that the labs get the normals for blood tests is that they take the last sampling of a large group of people that they actually did the test on. So let's say a thousand people did the test. Then they take 5% off the ones who had the lowest and 5% off the ones that had the highest. So it's kind of a bell curve in the middle and they take that as the normals. But a lot of people in this population are hypothyroid. And so it skews all the numbers down. And so you may be hypothyroid, but on the normal lab tests, you look normal because it isn't normal. It's what the lab survey shows. Now that's not what normal is because what we want for normal is what optimum is for your body. Most people that we test need to be at the high end of normal for the various thyroid tests and then they actually feel better or feel well. So I don't go by the regular blood tests. I go by symptoms and then in our office here, we have a way to test the actual metabolism of the person because metabolism has to do with or is caused by thyroid. And if their th metabolism is low, even if their blood tests look in range, they're hypothyroid and those people when we give them thyroid will do better. Now when we measure thyroid there's a profile of a group of tests that we do. The normal doctor will do a TSH. TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. It's actually a hormone from the pituitary gland in the brain that sends a mess it's a messenger particle to the thyroid to say make more. So we measure that. The thyroid then puts out two major hormones. One is called T3 and the other one is called T4. And it puts them out in a ratio of about five T4 to one T3. T4 isn't active. It has to be activated at the cells once the hormone reaches the cells in order to convert into T3, which is the active hormone. In order to do the conversion, a bunch of things are needed. Magnesium, selenium, zinc, vitamin C. So you have to have all these things there or the conversion may not be done. Most endocrinologists and most regular doctors are measuring TSH and T4. The actual active T3, they're not even measuring. So someone could have a normal T4, a normal TSH, but their T3 was low and they would have symptoms of low thyroid even though their blood tests look good. So we measure those. We also measure what's called a reverse T3. If the body's trying to lower its own thyroid production, it will turn T3 into reverse T3 and reverse T3 doesn't work. So we look at that. The other thing we look at are there are enzymes that sometimes are produced which are attack particles on the thyroid. This is autoimmune thyroiditis or Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So we check these two on every thyroid patient because sometimes the gland is under functioning because it's being attacked by its own immune system. So that's the general idea of how we treat thyroid. I find that if I go to the health food store to give a talk and I say, you have cold hands, you're tired, you can't lose weight, um, you're getting fatter but my, and, and you think you have hypothyroidism and your doctor says you don't, we will fill the place up with that. And what we find with those people is that we, we measure them, we put them on usually a glandular ground up thyroid. So when they process pigs to make bacon and pork chops, those go on one side and they take the thyroids and they put them on the other side and they're dehydrated and ground up and within that gland are the active hormones that we need. 
Pig thyroid and human thyroid are very close. It's the closest animal. And we find that if we give that, and that's a mixture of T4 and T3, plus the other stuff that's in a gland, which we probably need, that people do better. Usually regular doctors are giving just T4, which is Synthroid uh, or Levothionine, and that is just T4. Again, if they convert, it might be fine, but if they don't convert, it's not fine. So we're trying to stay as natural as possible. Uh, um, natural thyroid, the way we use it, is glandular. It's a natural substance. It's like food. It helps us. What we find is that we start the person on a low dose, and every couple of weeks we gradually increase it until the point where they feel, wow, now I actually feel like I'm supposed to. My hands are warm. My waist is getting smaller. I'm brighter. I can think faster. I can move faster, I'm not cold anymore, and then that's the level that we keep them at. We usually measure a blood test after that. We probably do their metabolism test again, just to see are they now having a good metabolism. And then we've got somebody who's really happy because now their body's functioning energy-wise the way it's supposed to, okay? So hope this uh, was clear to you. And if you want help with your thyroid, come see us because we're really good at it and we get people better. Thanks.